All right, what's going on, everybody? So Sony's 2014 E3 conference just finished, so I'm going to hurry up and do this review so I can freaking go to bed. First, let me just say that that did that conference seem long as hell to anybody besides me? That thing was it was practically two hours, but it seemed like three. Goodness. Um, but anyway, let's get to the stuff, and I'm going to you know, speed right through this. Um, so Destiny Alpha and Beta come into PlayStation 4, that's cool, a uh, white PlayStation uh, bundle uh, that includes um, uh, Destiny is coming later this year when Destiny releases, they didn't say the price of the, bu of the bundle, but I'm sure it'll be like maybe discounted that uh, compared to if you buy it separate, that's cool, they showed a little bit of Origin 80, order, uh, the Order 1886, the problem with the Order, the order 1886 I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied I'm trying to speed through this. The problem with the game is every single time they show some something from the game, it, it, it's so small. They, they barely show you anything. It's You can't even really get to enjoy the game, in my opinion, or get a moment, whoa, get a wow moment. Like, oh, that, that part of the game looks good. Oh, this looks good. You don't really get a feel for the game. I know the game's coming out like it's been delayed to next year or something, but I feel like they, they, they should have more to show us for from the order um, as of right now, but they don't. So, you know, the order is not really getting me excited with, with what Sony has been showing us so far. Uh, some indie game, uh, what was it, Entwined? You know, uh, Little Big Planet 3 uh, has been was announced, um, and it has all the previous levels from like one and two. I don't really, you know, uh, I've never liked Little Big Planet. Not gonna start liking it now. Never cared about it. Never gonna, uh, you know, not gonna care about it now. But as I always say, um, I do like Sony's strategy right now uh, that they've approached the PlayStation 4 with, which was to get their studios to kind of make all the sequels for the games that they made during the PlayStation 3 era so they can bring all the fans of those game over, games over and then their studios uh, bring the new IPs um, after that. So it, it's a strategy that's working very well for them and they should continue doing it pretty much until they, uh, you know, Make a made a sequel for all the beloved games on the PlayStation 3, and then make new IPs. So you know, so we can definitely get the new IPs after y'all get y'all fan base over here. So it's not a bad thing, even though I say, like I said, I don't care about, I don't care about a little, little bit Planet 3. And just like you know, with the Microsoft um, conference, like I said, I judge these conferences mostly based on the exclusive content that you show. Uh, just a reminder. So next. Uh, what I believe to be, it was pretty much Project Beast. The official name was Bloodborne. Uh, that was, uh, uh, you know, a little CGI trailer. Uh, it was announced that as Bloodborne, um, obviously from from software, uh, supposed to be an exclusive, probably. Um, after that, we got a little bit. Uh, what do we get? Oh, Far Cry 3, uh, Far Cry 4, excuse me. And there was a. Uh, there was some gameplay. They said you can invite people to the multiplayer without them even owning the game. That's cool. That's going to be interesting to see how they go about doing that. Uh, some Last of Us content in, in the Diablo 3 game that's coming to the PlayStation uh, 4. Battlefield Hardline Beta is coming to the PlayStation 4, I believe, for all users who have PlayStation Plus, I think. Um, Disney Infinity, nobody cares about that. Uh, Grim Fandango, I guess if you care about that, I really don't. Uh, indie Game Collage, uh, No Man's Sky. I thought that game was actually going to turn out to be like an, uh, a Microsoft exclusive because then Microsoft like helped them um, with some damages and fix up their studio when it was like flooded or something. Um, but No Man's Sky, if you're interested in that, I guess. Uh, it was funny. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, my Sony is always throwing a whole bunch of sub subliminal shots at Microsoft, and Andrew House said that uh, the PlayStation camera became so popular, and they, you know, they uh, put it with the PlayStation as a choice. You know, he emphasized it, and it was kind of funny. It was an obvious blatant shot at Microsoft and the Kinect, um, which end up ended up, you know, uh, separating the Kinect from the from the Xbox. You know, funny. Um, Project Morpheus, they just said that they're having it at E3 uh, available to play. Uh, they talked about PSN, uh, YouTube is coming to PSN, um, to PlayStation 4 that you can upload to YouTube finally. You know, that's something that they said before that we were wondering where that's at. They threw some numbers at us. Uh, they went to, you know, they um, 
talk about some free to play games. Uh, PlayStation Now is going to be available uh, this summer with over 300 games. Uh, Mortal Kombat uh, uh, gameplay, actual gameplay. It looked really cool. The animations look improved. Um, obviously, still, you can tell it's still in a very early build. Ratchet and Clank the movie, nobody care about that. Uh, PlayStation, uh, what was it? No, it was V. What was it? Vita TV, PlayStation TV. So you can that thing that they announced in in Japan is coming to uh, uh, the U.S. for the Vita. Um, Metal Gear Solid: Phantom Pain trailer. Uh, GTA, oh, but GTA 5 on PS4 was huge. That was a huge announcement, but I doubt that's going to be like an exclusive thing. If it's coming to PlayStation 4, I can only think it's coming to Xbox One. Rockstar is a business. I highly doubt there's no money that PlayStation could probably pay them. But then again, you know, it's not like they would make a whole bunch more money with, uh, on the next gen consoles you know to even put it on put gta 5 on the xbox one even even the playstation 4 so i i, I don't know if it's I, I didn't hear him say it's going to be coming exclusively to playstation 4 and i doubt um i highly doubt rockstar would ever make that move to make an exclusive to playstation 4, 4. highly doubt it so um they're just probably the first to break the news we're still waiting on that pc version but i'm not going to talk about that right now uh metal like i said metal gear 5 uh, phantom pain trailer um, there was Ark and Arkham Knight, uh, you know, gameplay that was cool. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, uh, CGI, that's the, that's the official name of Uncharted right now. Uh, it's Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. That makes it seem like it's the end of the trilogy. Um, and I, I think, honestly, I think it, it'll be nice if it was. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind Uncharted ending at Uncharted 4. You know, just, just go out with a bang, make it an amazing game. Um, move on to another game, you know. That's what I like about PlayStation franchises, is that I, they don't last, you know, OD long. You know, I, I feel, that's what I like, you know, a lot of people say it's a bad thing but no i don't like when when games overstay their welcome that's one of the problems i have with, with nintendo games they last too long you know uh, i like things to die out and then new things come that's just me uh but overall just to summarize playstation they, the playstation conference it had bad pacing it was very dead in the middle it was very uninspiring not very exciting it was only a few spots where it was exciting um like the gta 5 ps4 uh the uncharted cgi and it was just cgi uh let's see um you know project project beast or, or bloodborne uh, i guess if you like little big planet 3 the order 1886 they started off good but in the in the middle it was very dead and the the, the honest fact is microsoft actually presented uh, presented uh, more actual exclusive content than Sony. They did. Microsoft presented more exclusive games and content. You know, so uh, my, this wasn't a very good, like I said, uh, Microsoft's con uh, conference wasn't great, but Sony's, like I said, this was going to be uh, a E3 of CGI and you know I wasn't excited for this, this E3 once I, you know, realized a couple things and you know, for I wasn't really disappointed because I wasn't expecting much but yeah this 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 conference wasn't really really wasn't that good it was just average at best maybe a little less it was uninspiring um, you know the games are definitely it's like I said I feel like a lot of a lot of the first party studios are making games but they're in the the uh, you know the, the the period where they are unable to actually show anything so like I said, I believe there's a lot of games coming, but it's just bad timing uh, with the timing of E3, and they are not able to show these games. So, you know, that's what I thought about the conference. It really wasn't that great. It was, you know, it, they, they didn't show a lot of stuff, exclusive-wise or third-party-wise. You know, a lot of people were willing to, were uh, dying to see some really good third-party stuff. They, there wasn't you know that much of that either or exclusive wise so yeah i'm, I'm going to bed um, i'm gonna stop talking now let me know what y'all thought about it e3 this year uh not very not very inspiring not very exciting definitely not one of the best it wasn't one of the worst but it was it was the most average or mediocre ones but yeah i'm out of here y'all peace